You were just diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, but don't worry, here's everything you need to know. In type 1 diabetes, your body can no longer take the energy from the food that you're eating because it can't use the sugar to create the energy because no insulin is being produced by your pancreas. So, you need to have insulin injections. These are important because it allows your body to now have that insulin so it can create the energy using the sugars in your food. Now let's focus on diet. Every person should be eating, be eating a balanced diet that highlights the major food groups including fruits and vegetables, proteins, grains, and dairy in almost every meal. Make sure to focus on whole grains such as beets, beans, fruits, and vegetables and not eat foods that are high in fat, such as bacon. A pro tip would to be meal, meal prepping so you can reduce stress and time, and you know ahead of time how many carbs you're eating. Local supermarkets may already have pre-prepped meals with a food label on them, so you don't have to worry about it at all. Your end goal is to manage the foods that you eat by keeping track of the carbs, so this way you can be informed on what you're eating and how that'll affect your blood glucose levels. I would suggest to make an appointment with your dietitian so that you can talk about in more detail what you should eat, when, and why. Check your blood sugar six times a day. Assuming that your school starts around seven o'clock, I would assume that you would check your blood sugar at 5.30, 10 o'clock, one o'clock, 3.30, 6 o'clock, 8 o'clock, and 11, with another check at 8.30 a.m. Make sure to check it frequently and give your insulin injections as needed and before every meal. Now, here's a word from your primary care physician who you will be visiting. So I'm your primary care physician, and it shows you've been recently diagnosed with type 1 diabetes in your body. So you have no insulin in your body whatsoever and basically you can't monitor and control your blood sugar the correct way, like how your normal body would. And so you can fix this by taking insulin shots or having an insulin pump. You're gonna have a balanced diet, which you know, carbs, calories, and all that. Um, you can exercise, which shows you know, you play tennis, so it seems you're pretty active. Um, you need to at least check your blood at least six to 10 times a day. Uh, I need you to test before and after your meals to see where you're at. Um, for the parents and of course for yourself you may experience hypoglycemia where you have extremely low blood sugar um, you may be shaky you may be uh, lightheaded or you can experience vomiting or dry mouth now since I'm only your primary care physician I'm coming for regular checkups but I can refer you to my endocrinologist which will help you explain more things like that hello I am your endocrinologist if you're wondering what that is it's a doctor who specializes in diagnosis treatment of children with diseases of the endocrine system, such as diabetes and growth disorders of the endocrine system. The endocrine system excretes insulin and is a chemical messenger. But to maintain a healthy weight, you must regularly exercise. Exercising reduces the risk for heart disease. And if someone were to have type 2 diabetes, for example, it will promote better blood sugar control and blood flow. Exercising will lead up to a healthy lifestyle, which will cause a decrease in the risk of the complications of diabetes. And blood glucose will be managed. One last thing, foods that are high in sugars and fats should be limited.